One of the greatest threats facing bats in North America is white nose syndrome. The fungal disease that's killed in some areas 90, 95% of hibernating bats. We're looking at millions of bats now that have died in Eastern North America. It arouses the bats, it irritates them. They wake up from their hibernation. And the problem is they've only got so much fat stored up to survive their five, six, or even seven months of hibernating. And there's no food, right? There are no insects available for them. They get dehydrated and they literally starve to death. It first showed up in North America in 2007 in a cave in New York, and it is spreading. Um, it's been slowly spreading across Canada and the United States, it's in over half the states now. Just in the summer of 2018, it was confirmed that there are cases in Manitoba and Wyoming. When white nose gets to Alberta, we'll see a dramatic decline in the most common species in the province little brown bats. A major stumbling block in understanding what's going to happen is we don't know where all the bats hibernate. We have a couple of caves that we know about and the other tens of thousands of individuals we have absolutely no sense of where they are during the winter. The caves that we do know about, uh, we want to protect them during the winter to make sure people don't go in and disturb the bats. Because if bats get disturbed during their hibernation, they start to use up the fat that they've stored. Our biggest hibernacula site is closed to the public just to, to make sure no one accidentally brings in spores, having if they've come from somewhere in, in North America where it, there is an infection. There's a considerable amount of research to learn more about the fungus, to try to find ways that could perhaps uh, inoculate or vaccinate bats against it, or to get rid of the fungus altogether. But there are many challenges. Fungal spores can probably exist for years or decades inside a cave. And a cave itself is, a, is an ecosystem with other organisms living in it. So you have to be careful not to damage that ecosystem by applying, for example, a fungicide. There aren't really any solutions. I think what scientists are looking for is a way to reduce the impact of white nose syndrome. It's unlikely we're going to get rid of those spores, but over time, bats may develop some sort of tolerance or resistance. Evidence from Eastern North America, from Europe, from Asia, where the same fungus is present, there is some natural immunity amongst the populations of hibernating bats that the fungus infects. And given enough time, populations will recover. So there's hope that the bats will develop resistance, but we just need to be careful because those populations could get very, very low because they have that low reproductive rate of only one pup per year. So what we're trying to do is see if we can give bats a helping hand and just keep those populations resilient enough for them to take the time to get to a point where they're going to be able to develop resistance.